Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, happy Wednesday to everybody. Uh, today I'm just going to go over um, a quick tip on how to set up an external editor in Reaper. Uh, so for example, uh, here's some noisy audio I have. Uh, let's say I was recording something and next door to me they were doing some construction. So there was a generator that was going on all day. So it sounded kind of like this. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You hear that in the background? That hum? That stinks. But we can get rid of it. Normally, if you do noise reduction in, say, uh, Isotope RX, which is what I'm going to show you how to use today, um, you'd render a file and you'd open it up in, a st in the standalone editor. You could also use the plugin version. Um, but that's more of an adaptive version and it's not as specific. You can't get into the nitty gritty like you can in the uh, standalone version. Uh, so instead of having to go and open that up in the external editor in the standalone version, I'm going to show you how to do it within Reaper itself and then just drop it right back into the session without having to open up another program. Sound confusing? It's easy. Trust me. Okay, so how we do that is really simple. Uh, we just go up here to Options. We come down to Preferences. At the very bottom of the Preferences menu, you'll see External Editors. And you'll see by default it's blank. Go to Add. Now you'll see Primary Editor and Secondary Editor. Reaper lets you have more than one. So for Primary Editor, I'm going to go Browse. And then you go into your program files and you find the editor you'd like to use. I'm going to use Isotope RX7. And now we have that there. Click OK. Click OK. Now if I right click on this item, down here it says Open Items in Editor. And over here, Open Items in RX7. Now you can click on Open Items right here. What that'll do is it'll open the items, you can do your edits, but then it'll save it back in the media folder, or in the audio folder for the session. So you'd have to go through there and fish through it and find it, and then import it back in your session. If you do open item copies in RX7, this is what we do. It'll open up an isotope, you can do your edits, and then you can drop it right back into Reaper without having to do anything. Let me show you. So yeah, so you can see all this, all this noise right here. If I take, let's just hear that hum. Yeah, it's really low, but you can, it's there. So what you do for this is I'm gonna do spectral denoise. Going to learn that frequency. I'm going to bring that up probably to about 19 or so. Okay. Let's see, it's already removed most of that noise. So let's hear it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so that's better. Let's see if we can get by with another pass. Okay, and now if we take the voice denoise and we listen to the rest of that frequency, let's say about 17 or so. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, Testing, one, two, three. Okay, that's really clean. And then just get rid of those mouth clicks that we have. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, and then to get it back into 
Reaper, go to File, Overwrite Original File, and then close out, and it creates a new take in Reaper. All we have to do is just replace. You can do that by clicking Alt Shift T. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And there you go. It's just a quick way to get something edited and send right back in. Okay, let me know if that works for you. If you have any other uh, comments or anything, just let me know. Thanks.